This is not a smart grill, and that's really the inspiration for this video. At Digital Trends, we like to review tech that is supposed to make your life better. And what we found is that with appliances, the addition of smarts is not always a great thing. I've had the pleasure to review several smart grills over the last year, and even a smart smoker. And what I've found is that sometimes the addition of the smarts is actually a liability. So I got to thinking, what if you spent money on a better grill instead of a lesser grill with smart technology? Do you really get more out of the experience? That's where this grill comes in. This is the Charbroil Commercial True Infrared Double Header. The idea with this grill is that it performs like a $1,400 grill, but for only $700. So we're gonna test it out and find out if it delivers on that promise. The first thing I want you to know about this grill is that it is built like a tank. It's extremely heavy, so it'll come assembled, but you're definitely gonna want some help setting up. Now what makes it so heavy is that it's using premium materials. We have really nice high grade steel here. It's all stainless. Even the dials for the gas uh, valves are, are really high quality and it's built on a very sturdy frame. It's called a double header because it's got two separate cooking chambers and it also has a side burner here, which I find extremely convenient. The secret behind the high heat and even distribution are these panels here. These are true infrared panels as Charbroil calls them and they're made of stainless steel, not iron. So they're not going to be as prone to rust. They should also be a little bit easier to clean. The idea here is that it takes heat from the two burners and spreads it out extremely evenly so you don't have any hot spots. What I look for in a high quality grill is a nice burner setup and we definitely have that here. I'm not concerned about this diffuser uh, rusting out on me and the burner itself down at the bottom has nice controlled perforation so I expect a really even heat experience out of this grill. Two really important tools come with this grill. One is this scraper which goes down into the true infrared panels and scrapes up all the debris that amass as you cook. The other is for uh, lifting and pulling off your grill grates. So I've left this other side dirty intentionally. I wanted you to see what kind of stuff you should expect to have to clean up. When you have something like this to catch all the drippings, it's gonna get a little gunky. That's why that tool to clean it is so important. The good news is if you get them nice and hot, it turns into char and then it's pretty easy to scrape the stuff out. Just plan on doing it frequently. The grates for this grill are indeed cast iron, which is great because if you season them and treat them properly, they'll stay nice and non-stick on their own. You don't have to add a bunch of fat to make sure your uh, food releases. Now, when you place these down, you wanna make sure that each individual grate goes right over the perforation of those true infrared panels. When you get that, it locks in just like so. So here's how I set up the cooking test. I preheated both sides for about 12 minutes, a little longer than you actually need. And I got this particular portion scorching hot. This one's at about medium high heat and then we're at medium heat here for the vegetables. Here's what I'm looking for. I wanna see the same sort of uh, hatch marks on both steaks, front and back, and uh, the chicken as well. And I also wanna see that the chicken is cooking at a slightly slower rate than the steaks. I need this searing hot for a really, really nice crust. Here, I'm just looking for good marks and a nice even cook so I don't dry out the chicken. With the vegetables, again, same thing. I wanna see even uh, markings on all of the vegetables no matter where they are on the grill. I wanna flip twice so that we get a nice even uh, cook on the steaks. So we're gonna go ahead and go right over there. And yeah, I'm seeing nice even marks across uh, the entirety of the steak. This guy, also, I'm seeing a little bit more uh, markings here indicating that it might be a little bit hotter on the front than the back. Let's check out the chicken. Oh yeah, gorgeous. That's exactly what I wanna see. And again, really even char marks on both of the chickens. We're looking for the same even marks on the uh, veg here. Again, this is a medium to medium low, but I've still got really good marks all the way across the vegetable up front. Basically the same color as I'm seeing there. This is a little more red due to the seasoning. In the middle, again, nice even marks. And then the last one here. Yeah, seeing about the same thing. Uh, this actually didn't contact the grill grate, so we're not seeing anything there, but I am seeing even browning all through the vegetable. All right, we're just about done here. One final flip. And yeah, I get a really nice crosshatch pattern. Uh, I like, like those marks a lot. That's some great color on that steak. And I'm getting that something similar out of the chicken too. We're not sticking and we're getting really quick crosshatch marks here. 
Uh, that's a sign of really even cooking and we've got nice high heat on these grills even though I've had uh, cold food over them for a while. All right, these are done cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and let them rest and then we'll find out if I did my job because I'm pretty sure the grill did its job well. Steak's done, chicken is done, and let's check out the vegetables. And yeah, I'm loving the way this looks. I've got some great caramelization going on there and also really even uh, mark pattern. This looks like a job well done. I have to say the food looks great. From a visual standpoint, it's on point. Now I wanna cut into this stuff and see if I got all that great color on the outside while getting the right color on the inside. We'll start with the steak here and I'm looking for uh, just a little bit of pink in the center. I was shooting for a medium and uh, we got there. Nice warm pink center. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So we can also see there's plenty of juiciness to this steak. Uh, this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Now with the chicken, I have a really, really nice color on the outside. What I wanna make sure is that it's nice and done on the inside without being too dried up or on the other end of the spectrum, pink. How did we do here? Perfect. Nice white, kind of translucent, plenty of juice in there. Uh, this is another winner. So the question was, is it worth spending a little extra money on a standard dumb grill to get a higher quality cooking experience as opposed to buying a smart grill that maybe didn't do as good of a job of actually cooking the food? I have to say, yes, absolutely. This is the kind of grill that I wanna have in my backyard. I've cooked on a lot of $300 grills and I've had mixed results. With this, very consistent. I know exactly what I'm gonna get every single time. And that's key, especially when you're entertaining guests. You wanna make sure that you're delivering really tasty, safe food. And the Charbroil Doubleheader True Infrared Grill does exactly that. 